Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and this is Mink's Kinks. Hey y'all, of course I'm back and super super excited because as you guys read by the title, we're doing a new product wash and go type of situation. I have really been enjoying playing with like my gels and different combinations and all of that. You guys have seen a lot of gels I feel like lately and that's going to change of course because it's getting cold so I don't have as much of a need to do wash and goes. But today we're sticking to the wash and goes and I'm trying something that I've been a little curious about but I, I don't know I never bit the bullet. We're going back to a OG brand. This is the TGIN Regular Degular Moisture Collection. This is the Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner and the Curl Balm Moisturizing Styling Gel. And y'all, I gotta say, I'm not sure what to expect with this wash and go. So yeah, that's gonna be the combo today. But first things first, before we get any more into the details, the product, all of that, hey, my name is Mink. I do natural hair, lifestyle, book, and beauty content. So if you're interested in any of those things, of course, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We absolutely would love to have you, okay? And make sure you leave me a comment down below so that I can personally welcome you here, okay? The first thing that I'm going to go in with, this is the TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In. I actually did use this very recently on my channel. I did a review with the TGIN, their new water activated gel. I picked both of those up during, um, I want to say it was TGIN's like 16th birthday anniversary thing. It was basically like you got two products for $15. So I picked up the water activated gel, which I did do a review on and I will link that up for you guys as well as the water activated foam, which I haven't tried yet. So since I went ahead and tried that water activated collection, I wanted to double back and see what the original OG moisturizing gel is like. I um I don't dislike TGIN, but they're just not a brand that really calls to me. I think it's a good staple brand. I know that you could get both of these products out of Marshalls. I don't think that I picked either of these ones up from Marshalls, but I know I see them in Marshalls literally all the time. So they're affordable. They are black owned from what I remember. So I think they're worth a chance and I have a good bit of them in my stash. And speaking of stash, that's actually why I pulled these out. Today for wash day, I wanted to do a whole TGIN wash day because I finished the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. And if you know, you know. I have been using that for a very very long time all of these TGIN products are not new girl like new to me but like I've had them in my stash for a very long time and I'm just working on using things up and since I was using up the deep conditioner I wanted to make sure that I tried this combination under that just to see if it made any difference so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just apply the green tea leave-in I'll give you guys a couple little clips um of me applying it but really the star of the show today is going to be the curl bomb gel um, like I said, I did just use this product with the water activated one, so I did link it up above. Definitely make sure you finish this video and then go check that one out because that's the newer product. So yeah, let me go ahead and just apply this and we'll come back and apply this gel together because I'm really not sure what type of look we're going to end up with today. Okay, you guys, so I'm back from putting in the leave in. It was pretty simple, easy application. As you guys can see, this leave in does sink in pretty quickly. So I have high hopes for. Uh, to top this with a moisturizing gel. I don't necessarily feel like the water activated one was moisturizing. Uh, if you really want to know my thoughts, just go watch that video. But this, it's not going to be a repurchase for me. It's okay. It's a cute use it up type of thing, but like it's not something I would run to repurchase. If you've tried this and you love this, please let me know down below. I'm just, I don't know. So now we're going to go ahead in with the star of the show today and this is the TGIN Curl Balm Moisturizing Styling Gel and it is made with nettle leaf and olive oil and y'all know that TGIN is a very very clean brand. No sulfates, no parabens, lanolin, petroleum, mineral oil, artificial colors, or animal testing and this container is 13 ounces so very generous um i don't know how much it is off the top of my head i will insert a pop-up on the screen so that you guys will know as well as i always will have the product linked in the description box for y'all it says that it is a soft holding styling gel what 
a soft holding styling gel okay that gives curls definition without the crunch okay so i that's why i wanted to try it once it got a little bit cooler because soft hold gels just usually aren't really my thing but like i said i wanted to give it a try so it says on here it says wash your hair with the tgin shampoo which i didn't do um you could use one of their conditioners which i did do apply a small amount of the leave-in i did that i don't know about a small amount girl but um and then it says follow on wet hair by the curl balm moisturizing styling gel and style as usual first five ingredients are water pvp um maca root uh girl black cohosh i'm not sure what that is milk thistle and then nettle leaf olive oil glycerin there's some protein in there and the last ingredient is fragrance it's not a long list at all so let's go ahead and just get into it i will say i love that this comes with a pump hopefully the pump works because y'all know me and pumps just don't always get along so we're just going to go ahead and apply to my hair and see what happens so i just took um this size section if i need to break it down anymore i will but this is what my hair looks like just with the leave-in and my hair feels okay like the leave-in gives me a cute two three days moisture but nothing more than that so i'm really excited to go in with like it says a moisturizing styling gel and see what happens it didn't say to apply small amounts it didn't say anything other than apply on wet hair which is what i'm going to do Go ahead and I'm doing just a tad bit of finger detangling just um hopefully to help the gel glide on to my hair since it's a soft hold I do expect it to have a little bit of slip and moisture and I think it's going to lock on but I also think this is going to be a thicker gel I don't know we'll see all right so let's go ahead and apply some of this as you guys can see my curls are very defined okay so this is what the gel looks like and this is two pumps and even though it's a thick gel, it was able to come through the pump easily and it does slide on my hands pretty nicely. But I don't think that this is, it's very, very like, you could feel it's like very slippery and soft on your hands. So I definitely don't think that it's going to be something super crazy holding. But it felt really good just applying that together. But the gel almost like disappears, y'all. It almost disappears. Like, girl, what it not me getting clumping do y'all see that the little clumps on my hands i cannot stand y'all when products from the same line clump oh my goodness it drives me crazy but i'm gonna keep going with it i'm applying more gel because this isn't gonna do nothing so i'm applying two more pumps so that's four pumps girl. this is why i wanted to try it at this point because i can't imagine using something like this in the summertime just off rip but it does feel good on my hair like you could definitely feel it weighing down on my hair I guess but it also feels wet so I don't think it'll be weighed down like this for long just taking it and raking it through this is what my hair looks like and I mean that looks good I can't even lie to y'all that looks really really good so I'm just going to go ahead and just break the pieces apart where they naturally separate so y'all see that I'm just going to go ahead and separate that, smooth it down, just to make, um, you know, like decent sized clumps. And that's all I'm going to do for the wash and go all across my head. I will say I'm surprised by how weighed down it feels, but I did use four pumps of gel on this tiny little section. So, am I really surprised? No. But so far, so good. The curls look very, very defined. Um, uh, girl, I just guess we just got to hope that we don't get no flakes. I guess all right so section one complete the definition is definitely there and I guess we'll just have to see how this one drives Okay, you guys so i wanted to pop back in real quick i literally just finished this bottom section on this side and it looks really really good i feel like this side is like shrinking up more but girl whatever um but when i came back to like check on this side the definition is absolutely still there but i 100 do think this is a soft hold like my hair is definitely starting to get frizzy 
hopefully you guys are able to see this but it's definitely starting to swell a bit and get a little frizzy i'm not going to put any more gel on it i'm just going to keep going with the rest of it but like when i see the frizz i am going through and just smoothing down a little bit so i guess that's going to be my little method for today but hey you guys so i'm back today is actually end the day tuesday it's like six o'clock on tuesday i did my hair on sunday so this is what my hair looks like but i will say um sunday i let my hair fully air dry and then i've had my hair in a bonnet girl since about an hour ago <laughs> um and i did stretch it with my rubber bands but i will say i should have used different bands i was being lazy and not getting up to get the ones that i actually needed so my shape is a little like as you guys can see it's a little awkward it's a little bit awkward but that's nothing that stretching it tonight won't fix but this is what my hair looks like so as you guys can see, the hair looks decent. I won't say I love it, but I also don't hate it. Um, there is some definition, but there's also a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of frizz for this to be pretty much day one hair. So as you guys can see, this is a little section here. And though there is curl definition, there's also a lot of frizz there. I don't, I don't know. It's definitely a soft hold gel like it claims all right so let's go ahead and talk about each product y'all know i went ahead in with the tgin green tea super moist leave-in conditioner and i will say i thought i was only gonna have one more use out of this and i thought i was gonna use it up but i actually didn't so i will say a little bit goes a long way but for me the moisture doesn't really last with this product i have used just about girl the whole bottle okay and not once have i really felt like i see what the hype is about it's definitely more along the lines of like a primary leave-in but i've just tried so many other primary leave-ins that are better and in the same like price range so this isn't a product that i would recommend personally like i know there's people that love this but as for me and my hair uh, mm -mm. and then the new product that i tried today is the tgin curl balm moisturizing styling gel and i will say it felt like i was using a lot when i was applying it but i actually only am about this far on the bottle i should have at least four more uses left this gel okay so i'm noticing a pattern with tgin gels so though this one is definitely thicker in comparison to the water activated gel um i do like that it's in a pump i will say that i like that this is in a pump um i was using about four pumps per section you guys know I take about medium size sections. They're medium sections to me. But I was taking about four or five pumps each section. But I will say my hair didn't feel super um, weighed down. TGIN gels to me are like, they're thicker in the containers. But when you rub them in your hands and apply them to your hair, they don't carry that thickness over. It almost was feeling like, I applied nothing to my hair which I wasn't necessarily mad about because this does say that it's gonna be a soft hold gel so it says it's gonna be a soft hold styling gel that gives curls definition without the crunch and I agree with that I definitely do have some definition there was absolutely no crunch my hair did dry something I noticed my hair dried very elongated um, as you guys can see it didn't stay that way but my hair did dry very elongated which you know is a perk um, and I do think that this gel is moisturizing, especially in the collaboration between these two products. I like this gel from what I experienced this time around. But being that I'm not in love with the leave-in, I am excited to try different combos with this gel. I've told you guys in the past few TGIN videos that I've done, I do have the hair milk from this collection. I have the um, buttercream moisturizer situation. I have um, products from the Repair X line. So I have a good bit of leave-ins and stuff from TGIN that I'm going to give this a try with. But also, you know, trying different gels and stuff. Also think that I'm willing to try this with like a braid out. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But I don't know. I don't think that my hair looks bad per se, y'all. But it's definitely just a lot frizzier than I would like on... Um, calling it day one hair girl because my hair's been in a bonnet since it dried like there's just a lot of frizz so um this section up here is gonna tell on me every single time and as y'all can see there is quite literally like no definition here so i don't know y'all i don't think it's horrible i don't necessarily 
hate the combination i don't love the combination this is where i fall with tgin like i want to love tgin but there's a lot of their products are they're okay but they're not they don't wow me at all is that bad they just don't wow me y'all um i don't know i'm definitely gonna give the gel another try i'm definitely gonna use up the leave-in it's a soft hold gel i'm not a soft hold type of girl um i don't know i just like my hair to last all week and especially back in the back sections in my tighter more coarse sections like these sections are quite literally just frizz like just frizzed out and this is day one hair so it's definitely not something that's going to last long term if you're somebody who likes to style every few days i definitely can see how this would work maybe trying this on its own i don't know um it's not something i love or something i hate i'll leave it at that like i'm definitely willing to give them a try and use the products up the real question is girl how <laughs> So yeah, y'all, that is the end of this video. Let me know down below. Have you guys tried TGIN? Have you guys tried the um, green tea leave-in and the curl balm? Let me know. I'm very curious. I know that these products aren't necessarily new on the market, but they're new to me. So I, um, I don't know. We'll see how I feel about these. I will definitely give you guys an update once, girl, I finish these. But yeah, that is the end of today's video. This is the wash and go combo for the week. So yeah, y'all, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.